November the 14th, 2023. Guys, an important update on the European situation here with Ukraine and Russia. Back in the spring, it's been a few months ago, when the U.S. and I think it was the U.S. and maybe other NATO countries were sending depleted uranium into Ukraine. I think it may have been in the forms of uh, already formed missiles or just warheads. They started putting these in warehouses at that time, and Russia warned that uh, the countries involved with this would pay a heavy price. And so what they've done since then, and this this is saying that the earth shook in Ukraine, there are radioactive particles as far as England. Russia hit the depleted uranium warehouses. Again, the scientists have been monitoring this now. Now there's radiation that has spread all the way west to the U.K., possibly further into the Atlantic. I would be very concerned if I was in the Canary Islands, for example. I don't know um, how much radiation has gotten past that point. If it gets in that southerly part, moving down from the Canary Islands to the Cape Verde Islands along the African coast, just picturing in, in my mind here, and gets into that band that moves hurricanes towards the U.S., then the radiation would already be, say, in the Bahamas, Puerto Rico, things like that. But we're going to have to look at different radiation measurements from around the planet, and that's what we'll do in the updated version of this video once I have time to do it. But you guys need to be aware that this is happening to you. And if it's in UK, moving that far from Ukraine, then it's going to be hundreds of times stronger than that in the path from UK, Ukraine moving west to the UK. Now, also, guys, Russia hit Kiev today, the capital city. They now control the industrial zone of that city. Think about that. When you control the industrial zone, that's shipping, manufacturing. They control it. That war is very close to being over unless major powers step in and another event happens like this. But let's take a look at it. This is Dr. Christopher Busby, chemist and scientific secretary of the European Commission on Radiation Risk. He's reporting that an increase in airborne uranium particles following an explosion at a depleted uranium munitions depot in Ukraine has been detected as far away as southeast England. Guys, you remember back uh, several years ago, we covered the event in Fukushima and we had the radiation meters on our website at that time the hell hand ones that are about as big as a cell phone and thousands of you got those this might be the time to start breaking them back out because again at that time we were concerned about the Fukushima radiation moving from Japan across the Pacific Ocean but this is important. He said that uh, while the amount of uranium particles inhaled by sufferers may be negligible at first, Dr. Busby notes that such exposure can have serious deleterious effects on the health of those affected and their offspring. The levels in Poland, Germany, and anywhere by that time the particle reaches England would be exposed to much higher doses. It is noted that the scientist is talking about the explosion that occurred this year in spring in the, the uh, Klimnitsky area. Since then, there have been at least two other terrifying explosions at Ukrainian arms and ammunition depots. Remember, guys, they are now have taken over the industrial complex of Kiev. What will happen now? Will the NATO and everyone move in to try to protect their stake of what's left of Ukraine so that they can restart their proxy wars on the border with Russia? Will they come in with something very powerful because Russia's in Kiev, and I'm not talking about the radiation, but it's almost over for Ukraine if no one steps in. Now, there's going to be a lot of people very nervous about that because that's going to push the borders of Russia much closer to Poland and to the rest of Europe. And Europe is in some kind of dreamland thinking, well, we'll negotiate with Russia and uh, stop the war here and we'll take the rest of Ukraine and split it up between us and let Russia have what's left. Russia's not that stupid. They're going to say, oh, hell no. Look what you've put us through already. You've cost millions of lives, trillions of dollars. No, this is not going to happen. I think they're going to end up 
going all the way to the Polish border. We will see. But, guys, this is important. There are um, Twitter videos or X, whatever you want to call it now, uh, links below this. I'll pull it down and show you. This is, uh, he came out on November the 10th, what is that, four days ago with this. He said an increase in the number of uranium particles in the air following the explosion of uranium munitions depot in Ukraine earlier this year has been detected as far away as southeast England. He's a physical chemist, scientific secretary. He said, again, they're talking uh, another video here, that in the Kalinitsky area, after the explosion of the ammo depot, an increase in gamma radiation was recorded. Depletium uranium shells were probably stored in the warehouse. He continued, he said, I have reviewed gamma radiation data from detectors northwest of the attack site, which showed increases in radiation inside Poland, near the border with Ukraine, and also in Germany. Payback's hell, isn't it? I concluded that a warehouse containing uranium weapons supplied by the UK, okay, there's what he's saying, has been hit and that uranium has exploded and that the particles produced by the explosion had been blown by the wind at that time across Europe. Now, see, Russia knows how to plan something. The rest of NATO rushing into hell following the devil will do anything. The fact is that although uranium is a weak gamma emitter, there are other situations where the gamma signal will increase in the detectors. It concerns the naturally occurring radioactive gas radon, which can increase during rainfall and low-pressure systems. Polish laboratory claimed that the increased readings were from radon, citing the presence of bismuth one, or 214, but I pointed out they were no, there were no low-pressure systems at that time, which would explain the sudden increase in gamma. We remind you that in May 2023, 20, uh, powerful explosions rocked that city located in Ukraine about 200 kilometers from the border with Poland when a Russian strike destroyed a Ukrainian ammo depot where British depleted uranium missiles were allegedly stored. Now, for you guys all the way from Ukraine through Poland, Germany, all the way to the UK, you need to start researching the uh, effects of radiation exposure, radiation sickness, and things like that, and see what medicines are available in your area for it. But the devil and his minions are in unleasing hell on earth. That's what we're dealing with now. He continues, he says, even the explosions, two in number, however, were different from hundreds of others we have witnessed through videos from the Ukrainian front. Many rightly likened them to nuclear strikes. To date, Moscow has not admitted that it has used even limited nuclear power in Ukraine, despite rumors and videos. So it could be part of the explosion uh, was depleted uranium the other may have been hit with nuclear weapons to make sure that it was taken out while the upper air wind currents were moving away from russia back to the people that were supplying this now i'm not talking about the citizens of these countries they're just like me and you demons are running the entire thing greed money oil power absolute power so all of you, that's why I'm putting this warning out. I care nothing for the politicians that are doing these type things. Nothing, I don't care nothing for them. They will have their justice when the books are opened. Most of it may come before that, but their eternal justice will be condemned. I don't think that um, we have a whole lot of time here. And let me say this. I'm not going to point out any individuals, but... The buying of gold and silver needs to stop. The I've seen hundreds of videos now suddenly popping up on easy ways to make money with YouTube or with real estate. And what they're saying, if it was normal cycles, especially going to the real estate, we know that it's collapsing. Commercial real estate is. The uh, residential real estate is. People are being evicted by in mass. And a lot of them are saying, well, like the other cycles, if we'd have seen it with the Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac deal and the other crisis coming through, we could have bought in low 
And then as we come out of that cycle, sold high into the real estate. And that's what's being pushed. Listen to what I'm telling you. But what if this is the last cycle? It's a down cycle, just like with gold and silver being cast into the street because it was the stumbling block of their iniquity. So, guys, get-rich-quick schemes right now is not the way to handle this situation. All you're going to do is get burned in the end and uh, by buying classes on how to do this. And the ten, you, know, you see what I'm saying? This cycle may not come back around like the ones with uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. That's the problem, and that's what you need to think about when you're listening to these people. It may be that they are not aware that this may not be a continuing down and back up cycle. Just pay attention to what's happening here. Now, guys, uh, I will link to this, but it's wardnews247.gr, and if you're coming in here tonight, it's probably will be the first article. But they're talking about the videos back then of these massive explosions that shook the earth and many people thought were nuclear. Now people across Europe are going to pay the price for it. Again, if you can get your hand, we, we have them. I didn't do this video because we sell different meters on our website, but there's one there you can look that's an EMP meter, uh, electromagnetic field meters, things like that, that we started. As a matter of fact, one of them were built because we requested a certain type meter and the company built it for us. And that was when they we started seeing the 5G radiation, things like that, and they built the meter. And a lot of you guys have that one. That may is not going to work. The earlier model, the, one of the first ones they had was a radiation detector meter. I think maybe the new ones are combined. But if you're concerned, I think they're 100 bucks or somewhere right there. Maybe a little more. I haven't looked lately. I still have mine. Again, I didn't do the video trying to sell these radiation meters, guys. It's kind of an afterthought as we were talking about it. But this is our website. This is current, 624 p.m. this evening. Notice, I'm just going to point out a couple of things here. Here's where you can get the new Guitars 4 Digital Master. I'm talking about ultra digitally mastered back in the days when, remember when the Digital Masters first came out? You wanted the best sound systems, things like that. Anyway, you can pre-order, and I mentioned in the video earlier that you can, now Tina has put the button up to where you can get uh, the last three CDs up, both Aurora, um, You've got that. You've got inside and now the new number four. Get them three for 30. But also, if you click there, you can uh, not only listen to them free, but we today we got the digital downloads up in the digital ma uh, master format that you can download one track or you can download the entire CD. But you can listen to it here in digital format form. But if you click here, let me just show you going to bring you here you've got uh, all four cds now we're almost out of the stratosphere i'm not sure if we're going to reprint it if we get enough people that want to do it it was our first one we will but aurora inside and the new uh four will be in this three pack right here three for 30 not only that if you were to buy them separate you've got to pay separate shipping so we can put them all in one shipping the big bubble envelope and basically ship them at the price of one and give you the savings. So it's 30 bucks for the three plus shipping. Not only that, guys, you can do the digital downloads. Click here. If you don't want to wait for the CD, you don't have to. Or if you prefer the downloads. But if you're going to download them, they're not MP3s. You can listen to them on your phone and stuff. But the digital mastering in this is so nice that... Um, I definitely burn it to a computer to where I could burn, I mean, download to a computer where I could burn the CDs and save them. But if you click on this, and this is a new site, it will bring you here. And uh, it's called the Guitarist Music. All that I've loaded up here so far today, dealing with everything else that's going on with 10 dogs, is uh, the entire CD number four. Eventually, I will get all the other ones up here. But you can come in and for a buck forty nine get the digital masters right now. That's up to you. But uh, again, I've titled it or subtitled it "Experience Digitally Mastered Music Like Never Before." That's why I'd hate to put these up on YouTube when they shrink it back to into the MP four MP three format. The audio is so disappointing to me, having mastered these myself. 
and recorded them and played on them and knowing the essence of what the mastering does when you're listening to it with either good headphones or a good system. So, again, that's the new updates on the site. You can get the downloads now. There's all 10. Plus, I didn't mention, let me go back. Right above digital downloads, you can listen now. That's going to take you to a different site. Let's look at it just a moment. That will take you here. This is our e-master site called the Guitars 4. There's all 10 songs here in their digital format. Very important. You can listen to them for free. You can see which ones you want to download. Now, what I do is I just turn this thing on and let them all play while I'm working, listen to it on my headphones. And uh, I think the blend is good. It's a lot like inside. You've got different music varieties but they all sound extremely good. So you can come here, listen to what free, what you want to download or download the whole thing or get in on the uh, three for one to where they told me today it would be around six to eight days before they ship the new Guitars 4 CD to me. So to say two weeks, I'll be shipping. If The moment they get here, they're going out. But whenever that point is, somewhere, I think it will be before December 1st that uh, everyone will have these but if you can if you want to order the three for 30 all three will go out at the same time so we can package them together and save about 12 dollars shipping now guys while we're here and i did not mean to turn this into an infomercial we don't advertise on all our videos if you notice but since we were talking about the radiation scroll down this ad's been on our channel for quite a while this is from a gq we are one they are one of our sponsors, let me put it that way. They have radiation meters starting at around 100 bucks, and the EMF, which will measure 5G, okay? Very important. Two separate meters. Just come there and take a look if you think you may be in the path. And if it, I, don't know, I know that 100 bucks or so is a lot of money, but maybe, again, your family could get together, your friends in the neighborhood, and you could monitor your neighborhood, everybody chip in a few bucks, it's very important because it will tell you if you're in the danger zone or not. Didn't mean to go there with this. It is what it is, guys. I think it may be important, since we're talking about radiation poisoning, that you know how to detect it. Now, there are pills and things like that uh, that will help with it, but you need to look that up for yourself. I'm not a doctor, not a medical doctor, and um, I don't want to tell you something to take something I'm not sure about, but there is radiation iodine type medicine out there. You do the research yourself if you're concerned. And there's millions of people that are in that path. We're watching for updates, guys. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.